Here in this video, we will understand directory structure of our React application. We have readme.md. The useful instructions are there in readme.md. For example, commands for running the app or build for deployment and other useful information. Package.json. This file contains dependencies and scripts required for our application. Here we are using React version 16.12.0 and that is listed as a dependency. And here we have scripts to run or build the application. So now we have node modules. This folder is created when you create the React app. Otherwise this can be managed by package.json. Let's say you want to share your project to someone else. Then you can delete the node modules folder and share the other files or folders. So once they run npm install command, node modules folder recreated and all the required packages which were mentioned in the package.json file will be downloaded automatically. package-lock.json This file also be regenerated if you will modify something in node modules folder or package.json. This file is automatically created and used by npm to keep track of your package installations and to better manage the state and history of your of our project's dependencies. You should not alter the content of this file because this is not needed. In the public folder we have few files index.html. Only this html file rendered each time in our browser and according to the defined routes the DOM updates the components. Our components code injected in this div element with id root. All right. Then we have manifest.json. The purpose of the manifest is to install web applications to the home screens of a uh, device. For example, in mobile phones, we see the application applications shortcut on home screen, right? So the setting of those shortcut is added in manifest.json. We have robots.txt. Here we include the fonts only. Then we have an important folder named src. Here we have app.js which is really important file here we have three things which are important to know we have import statements which are for importing various components and files here we are importing a react component from an npm package called react which is inside node modules if you want to import an image then here you have to define a reference which will represent that image file and here is its relative path this one is the CSS file which contains styling of app component. This one is the functional component named app and this is returning JSX. In the upcoming videos, we will know about the JSX in detail. Finally, we have export statement which helps us to use this functional component where we have needed by just importing it. Then we have app.test.js. This is for unit testing. For example, we want to test individual components, then we can test here. index.css. This file is imported in index.js for styling those HTML elements which were not in any of the component, just like body tag. index.js. When we run our application, this file is executed. So we can call it the entry point of our application. From here we update our DOM by calling react dom dot render function and the component code injected in div element with id root which is in index.html file. We have uh, certain files which uh, you need to know at least. So the first is setup tests.js. This helps us to avoid boilerplate in our test files. So what does boilerplate mean? Boilerplate code refers to block of code used over and over again, right? So if you need a global setup before running your or tests, setup test.js file will be automatically executed before running our tests. We have dot ignore dot git ignore file. So the purpose of dot git ignore files is to ensure that certain files remain untracked by git. For example, we have modified configuration file and added our local server URL and 
When we are committing our changes to git repository, the configuration file will be shown modified. But we are not interested to push the configuration file changes to git. So what we can do? We can put that file name in .gitignore file and because of which you will not see it in the list of modified files when you run git status command while committing. Because you added the rule for git in .gitignore file for ignoring it. We have service worker.js. So the service worker is a script that your browser runs in the background. This helps us to add features like push notification, handle network requests, background syncing, etc.